Libra, welcome to your January 13th to the 15th reading. My humblest apologies that it's late in the day. They were doing some maintenance work on the windows. So it's been very loud. <laughs> All right, Libra, 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 Libra. Ooh, we got fear. And the masculine. All right, so we have a divine masculine or just a masculine in general. That's dealing with some fear. All right. Uh-oh, we have the world. Some sort of cycle's coming to an end, dear Libra. Let's see what that cycle is, all right? We have the lovers, that's Gemini energy. The ace of coins. We got somebody ready to make an offer. An offer, the nine of wands. The two of wands. The five of wands. Oh my goodness. You're up in your, you're the one dealing with the fear. Nope, they are. Eight of swords. Are you both in fear? Like, it could be that you're both in fear. Okay, Hierophant, Three of Cups, the Hangman, and the Six of Cups, Ace of Cups. We're gonna leave it at that. Wow, so you have some sort of new beginning here, Libra. A new beginning that you may not see coming. Um, so we have fear. Now, Libra, let me just note if this is a twin flame connection, right? If this is a twin flame connection, we have a divine masculine that is sitting here in fear. I believe you're also sitting here in fear, Libra. Whether you're the divine masculine or your person is the divine masculine, I do believe that Libra is sitting in fear as is the, a divine masculine. Now, when we refer, refer to divine masculine, that's that's the person in a soulmate connection or a twin flame connection that is exhibiting the the masculine traits. Now, I'm seeing what looks like a reunion but I'm also seeing an inability to come forward for a reunion. So where you are right now is there's no relationship between the two of you and there's no reunion between the two of you, or there's something blocking spiritual growth for you, Libra, and there's something blocking celebration and reunion on their side, but yet you're moving there, right? So you're moving towards it. Um, energies I see on the board, just so you know, we have Gemini, we have Sagittarius, we have Leo, we have Taurus, we have Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, we have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, we have Scorpio, we have Pisces, we have Cancer, we have like all three of them have their individual cards. We have Gemini, we have Aries, and the three um, Earth signs, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. The only thing not represented here, Libra, is you and Aquarius. Oh, no, just you. You're the only one not represented. All right, so. On your mind, we have the lovers. You're trying to make a decision about love. Should I stay? Should I go? Should I choose this person over that person? You know, needing to make some sort of decision. It could be focused on a twin flame connection as well because the lovers can sometimes be twin flame. Um, on their mind, they want to make an offer to you, Libra. Ace of coins. So what is that offer? Well, it's hard to say because the ace of coins could be anything. It's like the gigantic Christmas gift from the universe, right? Like you never know what you're gonna get until you open up the box. Well, this person is putting a box together <laughs> and they're coming forward, Libra, with some sort of offer. 
So this is what's on their mind space right now. Will Libra accept my offer? Is it good enough that Libra will hear me out? Can I get into the good graces of Libra again? Looks like you two have gone through some difficult times here with this Nine of Wands. The Nine of Wands shows battle-worn and weary Libra, but you have not fully given up yet. It may look like you've given up, but you haven't. You just got a little wall in front of you. See her little tiny itty bitty wall? <laughs> it's like Libra is still open to this person. There's a little tiny itty bitty wall. This little one, not a big one. But it looks like they're gonna have to come in big, you know, if they want to get your attention. So with this Ace of Coins, I feel, I feel like they're considering offering you something, Libra. Offering you something. Now, Libra, you're back and forth internally about this with the Five of Wands. It's like, do I want this? Do I not want this? Do I want this? Do I not want this? It's possible that, that there's been something that's making you feel this sense of, you know, I just don't know. And maybe that's because you never moved forward with this person in the past. That's possible. Um, it also could be the fact that, you know, if it's twin, there's probably been a, a long period of time <laughs> with no communication. That's very possible, right? Like it's typical twin behavior. Um, so that's possible. If this is a soulmate, it's like you guys have just had some sort of falling out that you're trying to work through. I see you're both trying to gain a new perspective on the, on the connection, like what's going on here? Where's it going? What needs to happen next? That sort of thing, right? So Libra, your person, like I said, they want to offer you something. They're trying to figure out how to go about doing that with the two of wands. They're also trying to figure out whether or not you're still waiting on them. We have this woman at the window. So it's almost like they're wanting to know, you know, is the Libra, is the Libra waiting for me? Are they looking for me? Are they looking out the window expecting me to arrive? You know, how do I come forward and present this offer? How do I come forward with this brand new, brand new beginning? Very fearful. Fear, fear, fear. Fear that, that it's over, right? Because we did have the world come out with these two cards. Fear that it's over. Libra won't listen to me. Libra won't hear me out. Libra won't open up, open up the door and let me in. Libra's not going to listen. At least that's what they're feeling not going to happen. I see otherwise. <laughs> fear, fear, fear. When we get the eight of swords, it's fear of their own making. I'm seeing otherwise. We have the ace of cups. We have the six of cups. Six of cups and three of cups for me is always reunion. Um, Unless it's, unless one of the cards is in a place that would suggest otherwise, but it looks like some sort of reunion here, Libra. Could have been something you've been waiting on as well. All right, Libra, I'm going to hop into the extended, see what else we can find out about this in the extended, but uh, it's looking pretty good. If you, as long as your person can get the brave, as long as your person can be brave, right? And move forward, then it's looking pretty good. So sit tight and we'll find out what I find out in the extended preview. All right, Libra. Woo, we got a lot of cards, a lot of cards. Um, Libra, just uh, let me know, this definitely is Twin Flame. A lot of mirroring going on in here so definitely twin flame 
Um, definitely Twin Flame movement. Movement. The Divine Masculine has been sitting in an energy for quite some time, going through a specific, specific thought process and a specific desire, right? And it looks like at this point in time, Libra, you're kind of not even recognizing that they're even in the picture. So I'm not sure how long the two of you have been um, in separation for, but I'm seeing, I'm seeing a shift. So if this is of interest to you, there is a link down below in the description box, as well as in the comments. As always, Libra, love and light to you. Big hug from Kimmy. Kiss, kiss. Mwah. I'll see you soon. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. Subscribing allows me to connect to your energy for future readings. And I love to be able to connect with you energetically. So don't forget to hit that button. Also, please share these with your friends and family. You never know who might be in need of the message that you just heard. Have an absolutely beautiful day. Thumbs up.